Hi, I'm Dave. This is the Cider Baby Show. And today I am speaking to Tilly. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, you're a little bit new onto the scene. Are you mad? I am. I am. I am. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Tell us all about yourself then. Oh, so I'm from the wonderful little town or well, city of Litchfield, um, mm -hmm. which is like 15 miles off from Birmingham ish. Yep. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a big wonderful mixing pot of like loads of people loads of music and it's just great there's lots of stuff going on where i'm from um and i've just released my new single best breakup ever yes. Ta -da! <laughs> it, this is your first single yeah it is yes so well tell me about the song because it is an amazing little track um so the song is about well as i put it it's not necessarily about me it's about anyone going through a breakup whether it's a boyfriend whether it's a girlfriend or just a partner in general um and finding a new positive spin on it and how to be positive about the whole situation and to think like-minded of it and like put yourself in a good position and not dwell too much about it okay okay i mean uh, your sound is very very reminiscent of like the early 2000s pop punk era but it seems to be brought bang up to date so how, how did yeah. you stumble upon your sound what what made you decide um, this is it so i got into a, a group of friends who were all listening to different kinds of music and then i found my sound i guess i found music the genre um mm. pop punk new metal type with bring me um young blood uh, Machine Gun Kelly when he released Ticket to My Downfall because that was mm. his pop punk album which impacted a lot on my music yeah. um, because I was listening to all different kinds of genres like 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s but I didn't really get into you know the more modern stuff so I guess that was kind of my outlet on where to start with the whole music thing. Yeah. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah. absolute sense, yeah. Okay, so uh, it's um, the video was released what about a week ago now? Five days, yeah. Five days, yeah. So, and um, it's got a staggering amount of streams for a debut single. <laughs> I mean, Tell me about it. Tricky. I mean, you're in the hundreds of thousands. It's like two hundred thousand. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, but you must be doing you must be doing something right. You must be. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. Yeah. So, um, first single, best breakup ever. How are you going to follow it up? Um. Well, we're hoping to potentially re-release a, another single, hmm. um, in a couple of months' time. But we said that we more than likely will have an EP out by next year. Right. Um. Well, early next year. Hmm. fingers crossed um so yeah again it, it's not my say realistically it's <laughs> whatever mike wants to do and how he wants to to put it okay okay um so what are we likely to expect on this ep more of the same or are you going to explore a little bit of different sounds yeah or? i think i think it's going to be quite a lot of pop punk punk rock type hmm. music because that's I guess that's kind of where I fit at the minute. Yeah. Like I've been getting a lot of early Avril. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, which I love. <laughs> yeah. I mean, forgive me. I mean, you don't look old enough to be, well, born when like Skater Boy came out. When was Skater Boy released? And I'll tell you. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm just thinking on the top of my head about 2003 to 2005, that sort of era. I'm a 2005 baby, so yeah, yeah, I thought so. so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, but you've you've captured the sound very well. I mean, I, I my uh, children are older than you, so and uh, we were listening to or well, watching these videos and listening to Avril Lavigne and that kind of music back when it came out, and that's that was them then. It's very reminiscent for me of that era. So yeah. You know, so you've again, again, I'm, I'm laboring the point. I know um, you have hit the spot. I mean, 
I, I just can't understand how somebody so young can do it. Oh, my older brother, um, he, he keeps telling me, he keeps bringing it up. When I was younger, I used to take his iPod and listen to it in the back of the car. And you had like Nickelback, um, yeah. Slipknot, Metallica, all of that. Um, plus Avril, Hayley, all of it on there. And, I, and yeah. then they'd ask me if I was OK and I'd be like, what? Totally <laughs> <laughs> so oblivious. I yeah. the car, listen to my brother's music. <laughs> and that's kind of where it stemmed for me. Yeah. With whole pop punk new metal rock kind of thing he's my biggest inspiration for my music okay that's interesting to hear so uh, is he musical as well yeah yeah he he, he is yeah and my dad used to be in a band as well so that's another part where it stems from my dad right. is also a big inspiration in my life okay um, I'm very family orientated if you couldn't tell <laughs> I, I could tell yes <laughs> um so you've had quite a you You've been brainwashed from a very early age, then, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah, I've grown up around it. I, I live in a music venue as well. So, yeah, it's it's a massive part. I can't remember a time when there wasn't music in my life. Right. Okay. So, yeah. so but, well, you said you're living in a music venue. What about gigging? Um, I assume you've got a band behind you as well. Um, At the minute, we're, like, sorting that out, trying mm -hmm. people. Um. As for gigs, we're sorting that out as well. So it's just a matter of time, really. Okay, okay. So all interested parties, where can they find Tilly? I mean, where can they oh. find your music? Where can they find you? Um, so you've got YouTube for the video. You've got Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, threads. The whole shebang, basically, for <laughs> social media. <laughs> um, just so many, I just can't think of them all. Um, for social media, it's all under Tilly Music Official. Um, and then with the streaming side of it, it's mm. all on every streaming platform. So like Spotify, Deezer, Amazon, Apple Music, all the rest of it. Yeah, so that's Tilly Music Official again? It's just Tilly. It's Best just Tilly. Ever okay okay brilliant uh well you seem to be enjoying your cup of tea there i've, I've drunk mine so um i'm gonna get a fresh mug and uh thank you for your time and i wish you all the very best in the future and hopefully we'll um get a chance to meet up in person and i can uh witness you on stage performing this song look forward to it thank you very much thank Take you care. see ya